Warning. 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 Universal basic income. Germany experience. They got a lot. Yeah. Germany's about ready to try it. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna talk about. Folks, universal basic income in Germany is about to go live as a lucky few Germans will have access to getting 1,200 euros a month. And I believe that's, I I don't know what the exchange is. I think it's about $1,500 a month. No questions asked. No strings attached. Me likey. I mean, for no good commonsensical kind of reason just for you know give me money just yeah sure why not all right universal basic income trials set for germany from truth theory a german research team plans to hand out 1200 euros each month to 120 people in order to test out universal basic income in the country you know what I mean? How do you get to be that 1200 man? Come on, man. I want to be one. Can an American be considered for this program? A disenfranchised American? I'm disenfranchised because I'm left-handed. We're in a minority, and we're stigmatized all the time. I'm desperate. I'll try anything. All right. You get back to me. <laughs> A universal basic income funded by the government is seen as one possible solution to compensate for jobs lost to technology. You know, as technology takes jobs away, it gives jobs as well. And then maybe, maybe it doesn't give jobs. Maybe the jobs are not what it offers in the future. Maybe it's, maybe it's enterprise individual and small scale and price okay sorry sorry just read the freaking story dude a hundred and 120 people who will be involved will have their attitudes and behaviors monitored by the researchers oh wait a second huh. that's a giant hold on when I said no questions asked no strings attached no whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I must have missed this last part here. Oh, this is what I focused on. They will not have to account for how their money spent. So, okay, so this isn't like telling them. They, they just want to monitor how this affects them. And, you know, do they, do they, do they just, I, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with $1,200 when somebody's watching you? You think that's going to be a good gauge of exactly the effect of, of twelve hundred dollars do you do you do you put a pin in it if i remember that i'm going to get back to that point and if i don't remember that then you guys remember it for me and have the debate in your own heads so i did my little this is my tag this is what i'm looking for universal basic income germany i want to be number one in, number wait number one in the field and number one in your heart that's what I want. Number one in the field and number one in your heart. Well, number one in Google and number one in your heart. That's what I want. Universal basic income, Germany. Well, YouTube. How about that? Just YouTube. Uh, let's see. Business Insider. Germany begins three-year universal basic income trial. Business Insider. Oh, they say it's 1400 Okay, so they roughly worked it out to $1,400 a month. That's what they're saying it's worked out to. And I worked it out to, uh, I thought it was like uh, 1500 So, I, okay, okay, I was off by a little. New York, that's even less. That's even less. And and they get to measure my balls every day. I thought that's what they said. That's how I interpreted. 120 people will be involved. Who will be involved? This is, this is the key part. Will have their attitudes and behaviors monitored by the researchers. That's to me as they will measure my ball size on a daily basis. And I'm... I don't know how cool I am for fourteen hundred dollars a month. I need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sugar than that. A little bit more daddy sugar if you're going to touch my balls on a daily basis. Metaphorically, I'm saying, and metaphorically, you will be. 
So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pump those numbers up, rookie. Let's get them up to like three thousand a month and you're talking, then you're talking, then you're talking. Listen, anybody wants to monitor my life over a close period of time but doesn't want to interfere with how I live my life? Dudes, listen, three thousand dollars a month and uh and that's after taxes. After taxes. I'm assuming this is tax free. This better be tax free. Because otherwise Derp! From the Hill. Study begins in Germany of Universal Basic Income. World Economics Forum. Germany trials a universal basic income for 120 citizens. And of course, what well, we all know to know. How to apply for Germany's 1,200 euros a month basic income experiment. Fancy getting more than 1,000 euros? Oh, gosh. Oh, bloody Moscos. No, what are you doing? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You know what? We've been good all this time. How to apply. You know what? Screw you. I'm just going to leave it up there. There, they're selling you a membership. But don't worry, I got this. How to apply for Germany's 1200 a month basic income experiment from the local .de. The study creators are looking for 120 people to receive the money, but they want around a million people to apply by November. Didn't say just said people are applying. A total of 20,000 people will be randomly selected and extensively interviewed about their life situation. We, uh, uh, I think I can negotiate it. I can get $3,000 a month after taxes. So that's like probably like 5000 a month. Yeah. 5000 a month, boys and gals and whoever. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your sexual preference is. You can measure my balls every day for 5000 a month. Deal. From that group, 1,500 people will be selected. And by the way, when I say that, I meant metaphorical. If you if you want actual ball measuring, the, the price goes up. We're talking metaphorical ball. I'm talking about what they're talking about, all right? Don't, don't be going right for the uh, the shopping mart right in the center, okay? Let's just stay away from, from the best stores because they're not up. They're not up for sale in this exchange. From that group, 1,500 people will be selected for the three-year income experiment. A total of 120 will receive the basic income and 1,380 who won't get money will form the comparison group. Oh, man. Could you imagine being the 1,380? The 1,380! 1,380! They start to form an identity around 1,380. And years after the experiment is gone, they got tattoos, 1,380 tattoos. And all kinds of... I don't know what would emerge from 1380 together and all that. And memes would emerge and whole culture will emerge. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be incredible to be one of the 1380. Especially if at the end, like, the 1380s are, like, overwhelmingly dead. That would be cool. I mean, not not literally called. No, we're saying anybody dead. <laughs> it's just terrible. You're a terrible human being. Anyway, the project announced on Friday that one million had already applied by Friday, less than 72 hours after the application opened. However, people can still apply up until the original deadline on November 10th. Notice I said peeper. Peep, peeper. The researchers hope they can attract more funding to create extra space in the study for people to receive the basic income that is a basic income by the way man i don't even know i mean really i don't even think that uh i'd be able to live in my mom's basic basement with that type of uh basic uh income uh issues going on so uh there's a lot of stuff that uh we could talk about and a lot of uh things and ultimately i mean The idea of creating a guaranteed income for human beings that isn't in any way, shape, or form based upon any type of performance that they have uttered forth. I think it's a recipe for disaster. I think it's how you will fund crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And uh, maybe, though, in the end, it'll be good because maybe the stuff you'll fund will actually lead to consensual exchanges emerging but i doubt it i'm i think more likely than not uh, you can end up with just you know kind of the stuff we're seeing now that, that kind of crazy stuff it'd be these types of folks that will, will most 
easily and now there's going to be okay now i want to make it clear most of the people that would take advantage of this might very well be people that are truly in need most of them will truly be in need and uh, that would take advantage of something this this universal basic income thing whatever uh, so i want to make it clear but but the, but there's going to be a significant minority that is going to basically be we're going to be funding the revolutionaries the jack boots the on all sides of the spectrum left right and everywhere and all points in between i mean how many how many people can build empires as long as they have soldiers that are funded i mean think about it this is how this is how hitler rose to power this is how a lot of people rose to power they had uh they had folks available who for one reason or another were getting a regular source of income for doing nothing hitler had all kinds of uh conscript folks about and just folks just getting money to do nothing and uh there's some people that maybe you want to give money because when they, they won't do nothing they will actually do awesome things but uh figuring out who those are well i don't know anyway i'm not necessarily totally against the whole universal basic income thing from a framework of nation statism i'm I would very much I believe that we could end nation states and we have the technology and the ability and the capacity for human beings to develop uh if not uh well significantly more consensual exchange structured methods of governance that we're currently deploying and could ever deploy under nation state type patterns of governance so with it, and that's not going to change anytime soon. And I'm I'm a pragmatist as far as the reality of power is concerned. I, I seek the uh, the best outcome, even though I want to make it clear I'm not endorsing the uh, the the reality of power that I'm trying to swim in, and recognize that I have little choice or chance to step outside of any time in the very near future so within this reality of power i think there is a, an argument to be made for universal basic income but i think the uh the better use of money would be instead of giving people money what you do is you give people the technology the tools to create uh more sustainability for themselves it's kind of like the whole black lives matter movement their whole thing is like how are they going to solve racism they're calling for the destruction of the nuclear family. I can go off on a whole tirade of how moronic that is and how the idea of a nuclear family and extended family being ex exclusive is, is ridiculous. They're not. The nuclear family, well, anyway, I won't get into it. Sorry. Sorry. So keeping it on point here, we're just talking about uh, uh, the, the, the use of funds to give people passive incomes rather than the use of funds to give people the tools to create. I don't even know what kind of industries would be created, what kind of, of work, jobs. I mean, I, I don't even know. Give people the tools. In the Black Lives Matter movement, they're talking about dissolving the nuclear family. You know what you should be talking about? The only thing you really need to talk about, if you want to if you want to free the ghettos and the poor black communities from this perpetuation of violence and poverty, what you what you can call it systemic racism, whatever you want to call it. You just got to give them the power to to be able to have their own freaking banks and give them right now they need the seed money and they need it in grant form flood the freaking ghettos with gazillions of printed money because now we know we can do it so hey 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 now we know don't even we're doing this again do another round except target the ghettos and where are we targeting with the ghettos we're going to find the people no no freaking political activists no political activists get any fucking money i don't care no fucking political activists get any money fuck them the only because they because they've none of them have been calling for the kind of changes that would actually transform these communities and that would be g g gut the regulations that prevent small communities from from building their own banks their own schools their own manufacturing homes whatever it is that they can build right there and right now find the people that are already doing creative and amazing awesome things in these communities fund them first they will find the people within their structures that are awesome and innovative and cool and then you fund them and they branch out and then you let them build whatever they build that's what we need in america for all of us we don't need uh we don't need 
passive income that keeps us sucking on one centralized teat. I mean, there is a place for some human beings in this country that I think we should talk about making sure get funded for various reasons, but uh, not on mass. No, no, no. And and that's not going to liberate anyone. It's not going to liberate any poor community, whether it's black, white, or whatever it is. And uh, there you go. I think I'll I'll end it at that. I'm really working my best to keep these things as short as I can. I think I'm doing okay. Come on. Self-pat on back. Good job. Good job, Frico. Good job. I think that's how we're going to end it then. I think that's how we're going to end it. So thank you for watching this uh, first ever episode of the first season of Warning Universal Basic Income Germany Experience to go live, live, live. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a sad announcement. Due to unforeseen circumstances beyond our control, even though there's a pattern that we've already set, uh, this episode is the last episode, and this will be the last season. Thank you all who supported the show through the years. This is the last episode. Good night, everybody.